Hey there hikers, Adam here. And these are the best hikes near Lake Winnipesaukee. We're starting off at number 10 with the Belknap and Gunstock Loop, which is located south of Lake Winnipesaukee and near the town of Guilford. On the hike, you'll summit both Belknap Mountain at 2,382 feet tall and Gunstock Mountain at 2,245 feet tall. And the trail you'll follow is a loop that is around 4.3 miles long with the difficulty of off the beaten path. And here we've arrived to our first foray into the Belknap range with the mountain that shares the range's name no less. But honestly, while the hike was enjoyable and standard enough, the views from these mountains I just found wanting compared to many of the others on this list. And then there are really no main views from Belknap Mountain except from the ladder of the fire tower, which was closed the day that I visited. Though there is a small view that can be seen just past the tower. But like I said, the actual hiking through the forest to these views and especially the ridgeline hiking between Gunstock and Belknap, those are quite pleasant, bringing this hike to its spot here at number 10. At number 9, we have Piper Mountain, which is located south of Lake Winnipesaukee and near the town of Guilford. On this hike, you'll of course summit Piper Mountain at 2,044 feet tall, but also Whiteface Mountain at 1,664 feet tall. And the trail you'll follow is an out and back that is around 4.7 miles long with a difficulty of off the beaten path. And we're already back in the bell naps. Are you sensing a pattern here? Now admittedly, there are basically no views of the lake from these mountains, but that does not mean that the views are any less worthwhile. You especially get nice views from the summit of Whiteface Mountain back towards Piper, but there are even more expansive views for miles towards the south from Piper's scrambly rock ledges. It was honestly one of the highlights for me, especially since they had better views than the actual summit. Now people have been known to combo Piper Mountain into a larger hiking loop with the two mountains from spot number 10, but this hiking loop would miss both the fun ledges and the better views on the south side of Piper that make this mountain worth hiking in my opinion. At number 8, we have Mount Shaw, which is located northeast of Lake Winnipesaukee and near the town of Tuftonboro. On this hike, you'll summit both Black Snout at 2,802 feet tall and Mount Shaw at 2,990 feet tall, which is a summit on the 52 with the view hiking list. And the trail you'll follow is a loop that is around 7.3 miles long with the difficulty of a road less traveled. We've made it to the absolute long longest hike on this list and some might argue the toughest in general. I'd recommend hiking the loop counterclockwise because then you'd be able to break up your ascent with a few viewpoint rest stops before the main summit and then save the steepest hiking grades for your descent. Your first few glimpses of the lake and surrounding mountains will come first on the ascent up and then on top of the summit of Big Ball Mountain. In particular, there are great vantages of black snout before you climb it. And then once you summit black snout, you'll get your best views of Lake Winnipesaukee. Additionally, once on black snout, most of the tough climbing is done and it will be a much more relaxing stroll along the ridge to the summit of Mount Shaw. The views from Shaw's summit are spectacular, but they are more angled northwards across the rest of the Ossipee range and maybe towards the southern White Mountains on a clear day. At number 7 we have Five Finger Point, which is located north of Squam Lake and near the town of Holderness. And the trail you'll follow is a loop around the peninsula that is around 3 miles long with a difficulty of a walk in the woods. Now this may be a new one to many of you and is not on many other lakes region hiking lists, so I think that makes Five Finger Point certifiably underrated and a true hidden gem. There is simply no other hike on this list that is going to take you right down to the lake's edge in multiple different spots. Because you're right at the lake level, that makes the entire hike in the natural area very relaxing and the waves of the water sound very soothing on the whole hike. My favorite part was when the trail brings you out to basically the tip of one of the fingers, where you get the biggest views of almost the entirety of Squam Lake. And it's crazy how clear that water can be in some spots. Such 
such a fun relaxing hike with these great waterfront views locks this hike in at number 7. At number 6 we have the Bald Knob Cutoff, which is located northeast of Lake Winnipesaukee and near the town of Moultonboro. On this hike you'll summit the Bald Knob at 1,801 feet tall and the trail you'll follow is a loop that is around 3.9 miles long with a difficulty of off the beaten path. Now this is a pleasant little hike that I'm not sure many have done or heard of since it's not on an actual summit, but that doesn't make it any less worth visiting. I really enjoyed that great view straight across to the Belknap Mountains and all of the islands and peninsulas you can see in the lake from this spot. And it's all on a relatively easy and short hike as well. The bald rock outcropping gives you numerous places to sit and fully enjoy the view, easily claiming a spot here at number 6. At number 5 we have Mount Roberts, which is located northeast of Lake Winnipesaukee and near the town of Moultonboro. On this hike you'll summit Mount Roberts at 2,584 feet tall, which is a summit on the 52 with a view hiking list. And the trail you'll follow is an out and back that is around 5.2 miles long with a difficulty of off the beaten path. We've made it to our second 52 with a view mountain on the list and you'll easily be able to tell why. I personally found this trail so freaking fun with the great balance of challenge, small rock scrambles and multiple great viewpoints along the way to keep you motivated all the way to the summit. Those views not only offer great vantages of Lake Winnipesaukee itself, but easy views of the Belknaps, Red Hill and the other nearby Ossipee Mountains. For those looking for some extra fun before or after your hike, the mountain is located right next to the Castle in the Clouds estate. The estate makes for its own fun visit but also has a fun and easy bonus hike along the Shannon Brook. The hike goes by seven pretty waterfalls and cascades and also includes a boardwalk that brings you right up and close to the Falls of Song, which is the brook's most impressive waterfall. These awesome views and fun hiking options land Mount Roberts at spot here at number 5. At number 4 we have Red Hill Fire Tower, which is located north of Lake Winnipesaukee and near the town of Moultonboro. On this hike you'll summit Red Hill at 2,008 feet tall, and the trail you'll follow is a loop that is around 3.4 miles long with the difficulty of off the beaten path. Don't be fooled by this hike's name, even though it is only a hill, it'll still offer over an hour long hike up to its summit and its iconic fire tower. It's this fire tower that's the real star of the show. Once at the top you'll be rewarded with stunning 360 degree views in all directions. This includes both views of Lake Winnipesaukee and Squam Lake at the same time. A cherry on top of the other clear views you'll get further north to many of the other nearby mountains and maybe on a clear day all the way to the White Mountains. If you only had time for one hike and wanted to see both lakes, this hill would be a great choice. Additionally, for those looking for a slightly more exciting trail, there is a second worthwhile hike on Red Hill to the Eagle Cliff. This shorter trail will take you up some rock scrambles to a cliff with closer and clearer views directly next to Squam Lake. But it's the main awesome fire tower climb that earns Red Hill its spot here at number 4. At number 3 we have West Rattlesnake, which is located north of Squam Lake near the town of Holderness. On this hike you'll summit West Rattlesnake Mound at 1,260 feet tall, and the trail you'll follow is an out and back that is around 2 miles long with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. This is the first view and peak on the list many outside of the state may have seen before or picture when they think of hiking in this region. I simply can't think of a hike. Maybe Maybe in the whole state that gives you a bigger bang for your buck view for such a short and easy hike. After just a mile of hiking up a gradual slope you'll be rewarded with freaking stunning views right next to Squam Lake. The whole lake is laid out in front of you where you can easily see many small islands and inlets. Also you'll easily see the Belknap Mountains looming behind the lake and Red Hill nearby as well. Such an amazing view for such minimal effort makes West Rattlesnake an easy choice for number 3. 
At number two, we have Mount Major, which is located south of Lake Winnipesaukee near the town of Alton. On this hike, you'll summit Mount Major at 1,786 feet tall, and the trail you'll follow is a loop that is around 3.6 miles long with a difficulty of off the beaten path. I bet a lot of you thought I would pick this hike as number one. Well, I did kind of in a way. It's the highest ranked hike directly on the banks of Lake Winnipesaukee on this entire list. And I think you can clearly all see why. What a freaking spectacular view. There were so many islands, inlets, and distant mountains visible, I just could have sat on that clear rocky summit enjoying that sunset for hours. Now some things to keep in mind for this hike. Tons and tons of people are also blown away by this view, making it an extremely busy and popular hike, especially on the weekends. So come early or on off days or seasons for less crowds. Also for how popular this summit and hike are, it's actually surprisingly tough, steep, and scrambly to ascend the Blue Trail. So if that worries you or your family, the Brook Trail up the back of the mountain is a great option. But either route you take brings you to that magical view that clearly belongs in its spot here at number two. Now before we make it all the way to number one, let's check out some honorable mentions. First, we have Pine Mountain near Alton Bay. This hike offers unique view of Lake Winnipesaukee's tail, but the hike is very short and easy and is simply not as impressive as Mount Major right next door. Next is Locks Hill near Guilford. This hike was rather easy and had multiple lake viewpoints. However, each of these views I found partially obscured by the trees, though the views do have some nice viewfinders to look through. Next is Abenaki Tower near Tuftonboro. The the hike here is basically non-existent and the lake views are underwhelming, but it is a fun and very cool tower to climb that offers easy and great views of the mountains surrounding the lake. Next is Big Sugarloaf Mountain near Wellington State Park. This was an interesting trail that gives great views of Newfound Lake with some fun rock scrambling that many may not have explored before. And that means that the best hike near Lake Winnipesaukee is the Morgan Percival Loop, which is located north of Squam Lake near the town of Holderness. On this hike, you'll summit both Mount Morgan at 2,221 feet tall and Mount Percival at 2,211 feet tall, which are both summits on the 52 with the view hiking list and trails that are on the terrifying 25 hiking list. And the trail you'll follow is a loop that is around 4.9 miles long with the difficulty of a road less traveled. For me, there was just simply no other choice, and that's in spite of the fact that this hike is on Squam Lake and not even Lake Winnipesaukee. But hey, it's my list so I make the rules. And it's all because this one five mile hike has so much freaking awesomeness crammed into it. Not just one mountain to summit, but two. With not just one, but two amazing viewpoints of Squam Lake. And on top of all of that, you guessed it, not one, but two exciting elements from the terrifying 25 hiking list. When hiking Mount Percival, you get the the option to squeeze your body through a claustrophobic cave, and then on Mount Morgan, the option to scramble up some rickety and precarious ladders. It's a real treat and unlike anything else you'll find in the area, that without a doubt makes the Morgan Percival Loop the best hike near Lake Winnipesaukee. But hey, that's just my opinion, now go get hiking.